Hey guys, this is your last set of notes for Unit 5. We're going to talk about how to name acids. An acid is a compound that has a hydrogen ion at the beginning of the formula, so it'll have an H at the beginning. Since all acids have a hydrogen as a cation, we name acids after the anion, or the negative. Finding the formula of an acid, this is going to be similar to ionic compounds. Um, so we're going to do swap and drop to figure out formulas. So for H and S, it would just be H2S. We're just swapping and dropping. If the anion is a polyatomic ion, we still use the swap and drop rule. Just remember that this SO4, negative 2, the only thing that we're swapping is the charge. So the negative 2 is the only thing that's going to move. That 4 needs to stay attached to the oxygen at all times. So make sure you're only moving the number at the top. So this one would be H2SO4, and you can put that in parentheses, or you really don't have to in this case. It's up to you. Again, remember um, your polyatomic ion chart or your paper that I passed out. Make sure you continue to use that. For naming acids, if the anion is one single element, so if it's not polyatomic, like fluorine or fluoride, we use the following rule we put the prefix hydro and then we use the root word of the element and add ic and add the word acid so for fluoride if that's attached to a hydrogen it would be hydrofluoric acid again you're only adding the prefix hydro if it's a single element if it's polyatomic we use a different set of rules here's a couple other examples so i have hcl that would be hydrochloric acid. H2S would be hydrosulfuric acid. So again, you're just plugging in that root word and adding acid at the end. When the anion is more than one element, so a polyatomic ion, we use this rule. Anything that ends with ATE, we change to IC. Anything that ends with ITE, we change to OUS. So on your polyatomic ion paper, those either end with ATE or ITE, and that determines what we change the name to. So let's talk about some that end with ATE first. I have H3PO4. So PO4 is phosphate. That means the only thing we're gonna change is the end of that, and add IC instead of ATE. Okay, so again, this is phosphate, PO4, negative three. If I'm gonna name it, change the name, since it's now an acid, I'm gonna call it phosphoric acid. So not phosphic, remember, get back to the root word from the um, periodic table, phosphorus. So we're just changing that ending to phosphoric acid. We don't use the prefix hydro in this case because it's a polyatomic ion. We only use that for single elements. Let's do another one. So here I have chromate. I'm just gonna change my ending and it would be chromic acid. Okay, again, remember the acids, it's just when there's a hydrogen at the beginning of the compound. Next, we have polyatomic ions that end with ITE. We change those endings to OUS. So here I have sulfite, SO3 minus 2. So sulfite would change to sulfurous acid. Okay, not sulfus, it's going to be sulfurous. And that's one of those things that just takes practice and time to figure that out. Okay, next I have HNO2. NO2 minus 1 on your polyatomic ion list is called nitrite. We're going to change the ending to OUS. So that's nitrous acid. Some polyatomic ions have a prefix in the name. So we follow that same rule. Um, we just keep the prefix. So here I have HClO4. ClO4 is perchlorate. It still ends with ATE, so we're still just going to change the ending, and it's going to be perchloric acid. 
So same thing we were just doing. Okay, that is it for naming acids. So make sure you put these notes back in your slides and go ahead and do that practice sheet. Please let me know if y'all have questions. Bye guys.